So within TradingView, I have uh, two indicators. I want to use my gamma levels end of day that are using futures options on ES. So I have the, the data there. But I also want to add my intraday levels on SPX. So as you can see, uh, no levels is coming up because we don't have intraday levels on ES currently. Uh, so no levels are showing, but I can uh, still use my intraday levels on SPX. So I can go into the settings of the indicator and I can scroll down all the way to our levels conversion settings. And I simply want to enable uh, the conversion. So I want to enable the conversion between SPX or ES. But here, very, very simple. I could convert SPY to ES and I could also convert any other ticker. So let's go back to SPX for a second. And then uh, here, what I can see is I can use uh, my auto ratio, my manual ratio, and my spread. What is the difference between auto ratio and manual ratio? Auto ratio means that the indicator would calculate the ratio for you by using the end of day uh, prices coming from the platform. So in this case, we are leveraging uh, trading view infrastructure to get uh, the price of SPX and the price of ES and calculate the ratio for you. Uh, many users use auto ratio. Many users also wants to use their own ratio because maybe they want to update the ratio multiple times per day. So in that case, we can use our manual ratio here and we can type the value of the ratio right there. But let's go with auto ratio, click OK. And as you can see, what I have now is I have on my chart my um, gamma levels on the left on ES and my intraday gamma levels in red on the right, converting from SPX. So I could actually only plot the SPX level. I could only plot the gamma levels. And basically now I have my uh, SPX intraday gamma levels on my chart. And in TradingView, I use my auto ratio, but I could also use my manual ratio. Now let's go into NinjaTrader. Okay, so we have our gamma levels open on the ES future. Let's go into the indicator settings right here. Uh, so now let's say that I wanted to uh, bring in uh, intraday levels. I could come here in my gamma level settings and select my gamma levels intraday. And as you can see, uh, no levels will appear because currently there is no intraday levels on ES but we do have intraday levels on SPX. So you could potentially uh, bring in the intraday levels of SPX uh, on ES. So to do that, simply go to the, the, to the bottom of the settings uh, where we have our conversion settings here. So let's click on the box. So let's activate our conversion. Let's type in the ticker that we want to convert from. So in this case would be SPX. And again, we also have the auto or manual ratio. Uh, we can use the auto ratio on uh, NinjaTrader, similar to what we do on TradingView. Uh, we also have auto ratio on other platforms as well. But the problem is that most of these platforms require you to have a data feed. So you mean, it means that you need to have the price of the asset that you are converting from. So in this case, SPX or QQQ uh, to be able to calculate the uh, ratio automatically. So what you see here, I get an error message because I don't actually have the pricing feed on Ninja currently on SPX. So uh, how can we solve that? How can we then uh, still get the levels and the intraday levels uh, on Ninja or any other platform, even if I don't have a data feed? Uh, this is very simple. We can flick, uh, flip our uh, ratio to manual ratio. And let's use the value that we saw at the beginning of 1.005 and just now hit apply. And as you can see, now we have our levels. So by simply uh, switching from auto ratio uh, to manual ratio, we now have our uh, levels of SPX intraday gamma levels on ES, right? So the question is now, how do I get this ratio and how can I do it in the most effective time every day uh, without having to do a lot of manual calculation and be able to uh, be active uh, straight away. So now let's go back to TradingView and let's show you how you can calculate the ratio, how you can save your ratio on a watch list and how you can access them uh, real time every day. And how can you convert this in a matter of 20, 30 seconds per day?
Okay, so now the question that we always get is what ratio should I use? And uh, can you help me understand how to get the ratio uh, in order to calculate my levels effectively? So we're going to show you how you can do this on TradingView. You can also do this in different ways, but TradingView is uh, a free platform that anybody can access to create an account and you can get access to uh, intraday real-time information um, and basically uh, on futures, ETFs, indices. So you can easily calculate the ratio using TradingView and we're going to show you how to do that. So the first step is uh, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And as you can see here, uh, TradingView has a really nice feature which allows you to create uh, custom security, which is a formula uh, using the data from TradingView. So what you see here, I have my ratios uh, set up. I can simply click on the ratio. And as you can see, this would open up uh, the chart and will show me the ratio in real time, right? So the in order to get the value, I can use uh, this uh, tool and I can show you how, how to do it. Uh, but before doing that, let's go over how we can create these ratios. So let me just remove uh, all of this. And we're going to calculate that for you. And we're going to show you how easy it is. So the first step is you can create a watch list with all your assets. But I can simply add my ratios by creating a custom security. And I can do that by adding my symbol here. So click on the plus sign at the top of the watch list. And then now we're going to calculate the formula. So as we saw uh, from our dashboard, the formula is very, very simple. Uh, we are dividing the asset that we are converting to. So in this case, the futures by the asset that we are converting from. So in this case, the uh, ETF or index. So I can simply uh, type in my uh, ES sticker divided by my SPX sticker and hit enter. And now I have my uh, ES and SPX ratio. Let's now do the same for SPY. So I have my uh, ES divided by SPY. I add that to the chart. And now we can do the same thing for NQ. So let's go and divide my NQ1 future divided by QQQ. Now we have a ratio there. Let's do the same thing with NDX. Now we have uh, our ratio there as well. And now let's do the same thing with, for example, YM. As we mentioned, we can use DIA for YM and we can have it there. And let's do the same thing uh, with the GLD. So we're gonna take our GC1 futures divided by GLD, right? Uh, but we can do, we can be very, uh, very um, flexible. And let's say that we wanted to plot NVIDIA levels on NQ. We can simply divide our NQ price divided by NVIDIA. And this ratio will allow us to plot NVIDIA levels directly on NQ. So as you can see, we have created our ratio. And now let's go over and show you how we can quickly customize this and plot it into your uh, ninja trader uh, without the need of having a data feed. Before we do that, we need to obviously uh, show you some best practices on how to do it. And the first thing we want to look for is uh, there are some limitations of trading view. So within the watch list of trading view, we only see and we only display two decimals, but those are not enough for conversion. So sometimes we need four or five decimals. So for example, uh, if you take the ratio of ES and SPX, it shows as one, but in reality, uh, the ratio as four or five decimal that we need to use to be able to do a proper conversion. Uh, the second thing you want to do is if you don't see uh, this decimal here, we can go on our settings, go on the symbol, go on the precision and be, be sure to select five or six decimal, uh, but at least more than three to be able to have an accurate ratio. So even though the watch list doesn't show us the five decimal, we can still see uh, the decimals by opening the ticker and by simply looking at the, the price, price action right here or by looking at the close price at the top, right? What we also want to do is we also want to choose a ratio when the both assets are trading. So futures are trading 24, uh, 5 
indices close at 4 p.m eastern and they reopen at 9 30. so what we would probably want to use is a ratio that would be in this area here so as you can see the ratio does not change very much but when the market is closed of course the ratio changes because the future is still trading while the index or ETF is not. So we would probably want to use an average of this section right here. So if I can show you how to do it, just simply put our uh, cursor there. And now we have a ratio of 41, 21, 88. So now let's go back on uh, Ninja and let's now convert QQQ to NQ. Okay, the first th thing we want to do is let's open up our NQ chart. And let's go into our indicator settings. And as you can see, we have our gamma levels intraday. So no levels is plotting on my uh, NQ. If I switch this to gamma levels, then the levels will be plotting here. But let's actually go back to our intraday levels. And now let's go all the way to the bottom. And let's show you another example. So let's say I now want to uh, plot uh, QQQ. To NQ and let's try with auto ratio you will see that I get an error because I don't have my a pricing feed of QQQ and I'm not able to convert automatically so we can switch to our manual ratio and type in the ratio that we just found which was uh, 41.2188 click on apply and now as you can see the QQQ level now appear uh, on 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 NQ. So very very simple. Uh, let's do another example and let's go back to TradingView. Okay, the last example we're going to use for is uh, the conversion of DIA to YM. So let's open up uh, DIA to YM and similar to what we did uh, with NQ, let's just go here and let's find uh, a ratio which is kind of like an average of the ratio for the previous day, which is. Uh, 100.13767. Now let's go back to Ninja and let's see how to do that. Okay, so now we want to convert DIA levels to YM. So let's type in uh, DIA. Let's go and find our YM ticker. Uh, and as you can see, let's just try to apply uh, auto ratio. Again, I have an error. I don't have the pricing data. So now we're going to use our manual ratio and we use the ratio that we just found, which is 100.13767. Hit on apply. Hit OK. And now let's open up the YM chart. And as you can see, now we have our DIA gamma levels directly imported in your YM chart. So now let's go back to our ES for a second and let's just run through another example. So another typical example would be to, uh, for example, convert um, SPX, for example, blind spots levels uh, to ES or SPX swing trading levels uh, to yes so the good thing is that we already have the ratio so we uh, already have the conversion set up now we just need to select what levels we want to plot so let's say we don't want to plot our gamma levels we just click on uh, none here and let's say we want to plot our blind spot level so in this case i'm going to show uh, select all and i'm going to hit apply and now I can see that I'm plotting uh, the blind spot on uh, yes, but I'm also plotting the uh, SPX uh, blind spot right there on the left hand side. So I'm converting basically uh, SPX blind spot levels to yes by using the same conversion ratio. Let's do another example and let's go and look at the swing level. So I can actually go back into the indicator and I can now uh, disable uh, my blind spots. So now this will disappear. And now I have my swing levels right here. And now I can simply select all and hit apply. And what you will see here is now my swing trading levels of SPX will be plotted on my ES chart. So just to recap, we went over uh, how to convert levels from one asset to the other one. We went over our auto and manual ratio option within the indicator. 
we showed you how to calculate and create custom security within your watches to access the ratios every day. Uh, those ratios can be used on other platforms, even if you don't have a data feed for the asset that you are trying to convert and you cannot use the auto ratio. So very, very easily in less than a minute a day, you can actually get that data. Uh, you can use TradingView for that. It's a free platform, so you can create your custom watches with the ratio and access them in any of the trading platform that you use. I uh, hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via our support team and uh, let us know if you have any questions.